hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how to make your eclipse ide uh, support js and java server faces here we go now uh, let me create a dynamic web project and uh, let all the things be default and uh, i'm just giving uh, the name as js of sample project Just click finish. Okay, I have created a dynamic web project which is not uh, it's a normal uh, Java uh, dynamic web project. I'm going to uh, do some modification to support our Java server faces. Now, uh, going inside uh, the properties section, we can see uh, a menu here side menu proje project facelets facets. So inside that uh, you can see uh, the Java face, uh, Java server faces is not ticked here. Just uh, give a tick mark and uh, again it is asking for further configuration request. Just click on that. Now we have to add uh, two user libraries: JSF API uh, with any version of uh, that jar and JSF implementation jar. So I have already uh, downloaded that those two here. Uh, this is 2.2.0 and uh, 2.0.4 uh, I will share these uh, jars in my description now just click here now just create a user defined library so JSF, I am just giving JSF library and uh, just click OK now inside this uh, just click add external jars and uh, now we get this location where you have uh, downloaded that and select those two and click open okay it's all it's both are imported and uh, just click ok and uh, just select this click ok and just click apply okay we have successfully uh, made our uh, eclipse id to uh, code with the uh, jsof now let's try that now uh, in the web content section i am going to create a new file which is uh, actually the xhtml the jsf file um, so i am just selecting the xhtml and click finish so uh, this is actually a blank now now here if i am just pressing control space here we can see my facelet uh, combustion header and all this thing uh, is coming here this is actually from our faceless which we have just enabled now I'm going to select the header for uh, our page let me see that yes uh, it is uh, created a sample project uh, with uh, some data in this we have to modify uh, this a uh, little bit to make it work uh, let's try that now if I am checking my the web by enough uh, folder you can see the faces config xml has been created automatically so yes this uh, is created uh, because uh, it successfully we have enabled the in this xhtml now going back to uh, our web xml we have to copy some uh, you know all the things are here yes all the things are here the web xml is already here now let's try running this i'm not sure this will work or not let's try it now just right click on that just click run as and run on server and uh, i'll select tomcat 9 itself just click finish it's getting hosted yes our project has been run successfully you can see let me copy this link and uh, go back to my chrome and uh, let me just paste the url here yes it's completely work now let me update uh, this thing to my facelet application to hello world so we have just tried our hello world project in eclipse with the help of jsof so that's all for now and uh, if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you 
and please uh, like and subscribe for my videos and uh, thanks for watching